Since the last time y'all saw this team in action, he was led by Northern EJ. A Temple football team. Yes, a Temple football team putting it together. But this kid was doing everything right. Throwing, passing, hell, being even ranked in the top 10. Yes, a top 10 Temple team? It's definitely unheard of, but a lot of highs comes with a lot of lows. As his team was putting it together, the defense was seen to stepping it up. And for EJ, he was definitely struggling times. In practice, coach said, hey, ball out, anything goes. But receivers wasn't helping. Offensive line wasn't blocking. EJ mindset was seemed to be somewhere else. The plays that were usually working, definitely wasn't working. Cornerback coming on blitzes. EJ not reading it right. And that led us to our first loss. EJ did everything he possibly could. As he usually did, try to put the team on his shoulder. And fortunately, we got beat by two scores against number eight, Louisville. Not only did they suffer their first loss against Louisville, the very next week against South Florida, things didn't get no better. It's like EJ took that Louisville loss to heart. His mind just wasn't where it used to be. And a lot of frustration kicked in. Not only did the frustration kick in because we against lost against USF 38 to 32, bro. The bad decision to performance, his mind wasn't there. And arguably one of his worst performance as a collegiate player, as you can see on your screen. Not only that, we ended up getting routed by Texas A&M, and that pretty much knocked us out of the top 25. Over the next couple days, EJ really had to think about what transpired. After starting off the season, one of the hottest team in college football. Now, after the past few games, this team playing like this, it didn't sit right with EJ. He was studying, but not really studying. Just relying on the athletic ability God blessed him with. And the boy Kennard Johnson, his cousin, y'all hear about him, y'all will hear about him soon. But in the meantime, the boy EJ, if he wanted to take this team to new heights, he really had to be in that film study room, studying, being first person to practice, last person out of practice. You know, that true leader on and off the field. And let's just say, when I say he did that, he really did that. Y'all just got to stay tuned to find out. We are here after losing three straight. We are back in the top 25. Now, every quarterback goes through that, whether it's collegiate level, NFL, high school, whatever. You're going to have good times and bad times. And your boy EJ, he definitely wasn't used to that. Now, he had to grow through that. You know what I mean? You know, the growing pains. Feel me? And he just going to be a better quarterback, better overall leader, bro. We can't be... Better quarterback with your receiver dropping passes like that. You know what I mean? But we hit Evans for 18. Now, Tennessee, they going to get this work, bro. With a pissed off, determined EJ. Hey, he got to take his frustration out on, out on somebody. You feel me? Your boy, Dag, he is back better than ever. We up seven to nothing. Offensive line getting a printer for time, and we hit no other. Your boy Walker with that diving catch, second and nine right here. We hit Walker once again, and he is tackled inside the five. Going into a read, honestly, for his second rushing touchdown on the game. We up 14 to nothing. That boy is hungry. He is definitely hungry. Up 14 to nothing. In and on this second quarter. And your boy say he take a big hit, but he held on to the rock. I thought for sure he was definitely going to fumble that. Yeah, right here, we hit Stewart once again on the deep, you know, deep pass. We hit Walker right down that little screen pass. He picks up a first down. 
think y'all sitting in the bus hard. We just lob it just enough. Evans could not cross the goal line. Well, that sucks as a receiver, bro. You just get tackled on the one yard line. That sucks, man. Sadie ended up punching that in, man. We up by two scores. All right, here we hit Evans. You can't get no kind of momentum going under two minutes with the receiver dropping passes like that. But we hit Evans. We give him another chance now, the opportunity he picks up 30. Now, just because you drop one, that doesn't mean we're going to give you, you know, stop giving you the rock. But Walker ended up finding the end zone. We are running away with this. Throwing it deep once again to Evans. Catch it for 33. But he can catch passes like that, but can't catch a little out route. Like, come on, bro. As we hit Walker, and we are definitely running away with this game. Sadie. We get Sadie in the slot at receiver. He picks up 44, third and eight here. They are playing zone. I hear you going to leave the best receiver in the nation open. He picks up a touchdown, man, 15-yard TD catch. And we're trying to decide who we throw it to. And Stewart is on the receiving end of that. He picks up 53, second and eight. Pressure off the edge. And we going to escape it. EJ picks up a first down. Don't see a lot of running. You know what I mean? Just a lot of throwing highlights. Evans crosses the goal line. But that's it, bro. Like, comment, subscribe on the video. It's your boy CR8, and I'm gone.